God. This camera keeps undergoing weird settings changes, and I apologize that the unboxing channel is occasionally like smooth or linear or brightness. It's like I watched, I'm watching the unboxings, you know, because I have to watch and, and give like basic tags so possibly can do them with the full tags. And it's like, why is everything so bright? It looks like the, the nuclear sun edition of the damn outside. Anyway, DHL rings my fucking bell again. If they ring my bell one more time, I'm just going to disable my bell. This. Are the Zens up? Wait, well, who makes this? This is the, um, the Zens up by who? Brand Zens. Pasta, I don't know who makes the Zens up. And it's X-E-N-N-S. I could swear this is a brand name that I know. It's like Moondrop Zens up or... But it's not, wow, my knife might need to be replaced. I'm assuming this is more IMs, because it's always more IMs. Open. So here's the thing, it says open here, but you can't actually open it from there. You have to open it from there. You usually put the arrow where you want to open the device. Mmm, Zens! Pursuit of high cost performance sound. Holy fuck, the English on that. Taking a picture of that for the patronage chat. See, this is another one that needs open. I guess I don't hate this design. Look how well it kept everything in place though. Big, thick mofo. So we have got 4.4 Pentacom, 3.5 millimeter, quarter inch adapter, airplane adapter, instructions. I spelled that correctly, I was worried for a second. So we've got instructions. Which please, for an IEM, I, I hate when IEMs come with instructions, that usually means they have switches on them, and switches be for bitches, bro. Here's the Zen's ear tip, and here are the Zen's ear tips. We give you a bunch of them. So we've got foams, smalls and mediums, never large, and then small, medium, large uh, ball tips with like a butthole crease, and then the, the see-through silicones. So we'll see how that works. If I pull this out, See, this is fine. I like this design, because you know what? There's no wire that's twisted around. It's just boom. Oh, it's even attached. You don't have to do anything. You just pull them out. Nice case. I love these cases. I feel like they're not expensive to make once you make like a million of them, but they're just nice. It's like, I want luggage that looks like this. Just make this big enough to be to put my things in. Little wheels and roll it around. Uh, so we have got a Velcro on this. I tell you right away, I'm gonna love this fucking wire. As long as it doesn't have any weird jankness. Search, if jankness is not a term on Wikipedia, someone please add it and credit me for the creation of the word jank and jankiness. And thus, thus the creation of jankness, which is the slang. Just throw it on the floor, I guess. Um, ooh. When you do a four wire right, so here is a very, very legit head with a 2.5 which you then plug. I'm glad it doesn't have carbon fiber here, so you only have one carbon fiber. Well, they could have made that blend together. That's a little bit awkward that there's like a huge gap. By the way, I would love, just, just so you know, the algorithm is messing me up real bad um, on the main channel. So I would love to just switch to completely doing just unboxings. You don't even care what these shit sounds like. You just want to see me touch it, bang bits together. I love unboxings because there's no reason, for, I don't even have to know what's showing up. It's the ultimate lazy performance on the internet. It's like, what are, you, what are you unboxing today? I don't know. Something. That is the fancy. This has got knurling on it and then a gold ring. This is slightly heavy. This is super light. This is the nicest slider I've ever seen. It's got a gold ring around the slider with the logo. And it's so, it, just, it actually floats. It actually has no, it actually is probably never going to work because it's just going to slide. Yeah, it's just going to slide. You know, kind of get stuck there. Anyway, let's look at the actual AMs. Please no switches, please no switches, please no switches, please no switches. <gasps> These Kinera, they look like Kinera. They have the same like, like, like design. UPR. Does it say UPL? UPL. Up, oh, they're giving you up and left and up and right. I, I, you know what, I deal with IMs constantly and if you've never bought a good set of IMs, how do you understand how to fucking put them in? Because it's like, like the, the, if it's left and right, and then it's like, well, you put it in this way, you put it in this, I, I would have to be told. So here's my up R and up L. 
These are rather large, actually. They're, they're a little bit bulky. Look at that, that thickness. So yeah, I'm hoping I'll figure out, or possibly figure out a link to this, or ask me for a link, and I might be able to find it. And uh, I'm gonna go put these on the burning rig, which I'm gonna need this adapter. Oh my God, I'm gonna need this adapter, but I need a quarter inch adapter as well. So there you go. There's my IAM adapter. Adapted and ready to rock and roll. So I'll see you for another unboxing or more unboxings in a bit. Hi. These have been sitting out. This week I'm celebrating video games day by going for the high score on laughs. Pew, pew. Just wow. asking for a video game joke. Echo, give me a video game joke. Why did Mario and Luigi cross the road? To get to the other side scroller. Oh my fucking God. Echo, delete all jokes. What do you call an elephant who can do many things at once? A multi-tusker. Oh my fucking God. Chewbacca, I'm gonna throw this, you ready? Get it. That's the burn box, we don't wanna put it there. These two things should be related. I gave her... Here's your reminder. Give Kat her hip and drink medicine. Ooh. You ready to get your hip and drink med- hip and- it's hip and drink? It's hip and joint. Here's your reminder. Oh, yeah. Give Kat her hip and drink medicine. Okay, so... This is that stuff I got for Chewbacca. Bok. She don't like it. I'm about to steal her ass. Oh, daddy's coming. Oh, no, daddy's coming. Oh, baby, baby. We're doing this one. We're doing it live. Say fuck it. We're doing it live. Say fuck it. We're doing it live. I know you hate this. I know you hate it. Come on. Ah. Uh, there we go. Now I can see. There we go. And then we put you down. She's a good girl sometimes. I got most of that. That's why you always overfill it. Beef flavored, baby. Anyway. <clears throat> you feel better already? You feel full of beef? Beef injection? Cold beef injection? <laughs> anyway. If I would have waited after that alert sounded, I would never have remembered. Okay, so. I almost got two of them on the same thing. Um, I realized when I built my new computer, well actually no, I realized yesterday, or the day before yesterday, that I'm like, where the fuck is my other card reader? Because I had two card readers, and I used to have one downstairs with my computer and one upstairs in my office. And now I have one upstairs in my office, and it takes a long time to download the card from there because it has to go through the 20-foot cable. So I, I was gonna get the other one for the basement, to just plug in the car. I have my old computer in there and it has a card reader because it needs a card reader, so I need, three card readers. So I had to buy another card reader. The one I've been buying previously is no longer sold. Now I have this Ben Fay to make life more comfortable and easy, comprehensive cable solution. See, that's all I want. So it's just a metal box. And I have a very specific kink where I want my card reader to only read micro SD and SD cards. Those are the two types I need. One, um, the, uh, the, the Zoom recorder uses an SD card. And one is micro SD card for micro SD for the GoPros. Um, and I prefer to, I would, if I could use an SD card and everything and not a micro SD card, I'd do it because you can't lose them as easily. And the capacities would be huge if they kept developing it. So this is a USB-C card reader and it's very short. And the problem is my computer's like up here. So if I put it up here, then I'm like, oh, I gotta get my card and my card reader, which is way up above my head. So I bought a short extension cord. And you gotta watch out with USB extension cords. You gotta get good ones or they don't work. Especially, especially USB-C and you're trying to do like high bandwidth. I love this, it has a huge flag on it. If you hook up a USB-C 2.0 peripheral to this USB-C 3.01 cable and it doesn't work as expected, flip the connector over and try once more. It happens as a result of the compatibility with USB-C protocols you need to contact, wow. See, I had a feeling that was a thing but that just confirmed it. So if you have, motherfuckers, here, ready for motherfucker? I'm gonna say motherfucker again. 
What happens is I beg for companies to use USB-C, correct? Right? Good. So I want USB-C connectors because they're, they can be interchanged either forward or back, like ready, watch plugged in, flip it the other way, plug it in. It's the same thing. It's, uh, Apple did it with the, uh, lightning cable a long time ago and USB-C, USB should have had it a long time ago. The problem is that if you have a device, you have to pay to use the USB-C protocol. But that's only if you're going to actually use it for USB-C. If this is a USB 2.0 card reader, then they're just putting a different head on it, and it should work, but sometimes it just doesn't because you got to plug it in one way, you got to plug it in the other way, and then it should work. Anyway, so this is going down my basement, and it's a really nice extension, whatever the hell this USB-C extension is called. Extension cable. And then that'll go up my computer and it'll hang down at like face level so I can insert and, ins and uninstall my card. And it'll plug right into my USB-C port on my computer itself. And all this is garbage, 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 garbage. I'll keep the Velcro tie. Chewbacca got her meds and I'm done with this unboxing. I'll see you more in a bit. It's called efficiency, look it up. I actually just pick the GoPro up and hit the button because I know it takes about 1.6 seconds before it goes beep, beep, beep and starts recording. So if I'm doing an unboxing, it's just like, click. But then I spend 20 seconds talking about it, removing any efficiency that was ever created. They say it's not a toy. But I bet it is. Anyway, so this is one of those luxury items. My toilet, right? The one that used to be a thousand dollar bidet. That was actually a two thousand dollar bidet. And then I returned it back to a eight hundred dollar bidet, which I actually paid four hundred dollars for. Well, I see all these like mats and rugs. Um, I wanted one for in front of my toilet because the cleaning ladies moved the other one out. I don't want to put it back and it's too big. And really, like, I don't need a mat by my toilet. But when I'm sitting there, my feet are cold. So I bought this one, which is a memory foam mat. And I might cut it up to perfectly notch. Actually, this is a very strange size. I measured and I have a 30, 39 inch wide where I poop. It's 39 inch wide. And then I have exactly like 20, 19 or 20 inches until the, from the toilet bowl to the leg of the little table that I leave there. And this is a 36 by 22 mat, which is again, rare as shit. Like who makes a mat that size? But it should perfectly fit, and I'm not gonna put it in there right now, but it should perfectly fit in my bathroom. And I may not even need, oh God. I may not even need to modify this because I was like, all right, if I get it, I could just cut, you know, a notch for the toilet, but it may not even need that. Oh, um, here's a secret. Since this is filled with memory foam, which as it is, if you want to revive memory foam, throw it in the, in the uh, dryer. The heat will actually soften it up. You okay, buddy? What is my Amazon driver doing? Why is he? You didn't do that here, did you? Did you back into my garage? What just happened? Oh, he's cleaning off his backup sensors? This is exciting and terrifying. Like, what is happening? I'll check the cameras. Uh, I'm looking at his, like, the, you could see where he drove based on his tire marks in the gravel. Doesn't look like he drove anywhere he wasn't supposed to drive. He's put it in reverse. This is exciting now. He's put it in reverse. He's not moving, he's just in reverse. There's a camera on the top, I think. Huh. Do this not in my driveway. Thank you. Is it, 
Is he leaving? Yeah, this is very st st uh, stiff and hard. So, oh, look at these new fucking handles. Oh my God, it's like they're in the right spot all of a sudden. Oh my Lord. Oh Lord, Lordy Lord Lord. So I'm gonna fold this, I guess like this, and then unfold it in there. And I'm gonna give this a 20 minute run. Just get the heat in there, it'll soften that memory foam up and you can lay it flat and it'll just, if you ever have like a memory foam pillow that like gets compressed after a while, just just beat it up, throw it in the heat for 20 minutes and it'll it'll be brand new. Be so fluffy. Anyway, that was a very way too long and interesting, but we'll go to the live stream now. There. There it is. The Kniffy. So this was a tie to my mailbox and just left there. Um, because it's FedEx, and they're like, eh, your driveway's too far. Oh. I got my Discord hoodie. Because my Discord, which pasta will link in the top of the description, um, there's a permalink I can give to you, or it's on streamer links. Whatever. Anyway, I got into the partner program on Discord, and apparently you got a free hoodie. And let's see what else we got. We got stickers up the waz. I was wondering what this was. I'm like, what's that? Um, Wampus on board, <laughs> and then it has, we have a Discord thing, and it's not as good as Ventrilo, but I mean, we're gonna keep talking about it. But it's nice. I got my Discord back up and rolling. I mean, we we destroyed, we raised it to the ground, and now we're raising it back up. And I get cool merch doing the same thing. Uh, little Discord gear. That's just that a Discord logo? I, I guess it's a partner logo. I don't know what these weird, like the pickle on that thing's head. There's a box thing, and then it says partner. There you go. So I got this, I'm in the Discord partner program. Free merch. And we have a pin here that is the little wampus. The wampus. Um, the only reason I fixed my Discord is because literally every other person on the earth has a Discord now. I started out with Princess Pasta's Discord, which you can get into if you join her Patreon in the link description below for five dollars or more a month. You get added to her Discord, and then on Sunday nights, which she's been off schedule, but on Sunday nights, it's the Not Safe for Work stream, and it's not her being Not Safe for Work; it's her playing Not Safe for Work games where you watch Redo of Healer or other. Um, sultry things. So if you want to watch that, feel free to click the link in the description for $5 a month. So her Discord started it all out because a whole bunch of people would hang out on her Discord after her streams. And then a bunch of people were like, hey, we have Discord. So everyone has a fucking Discord. And I'm sitting there, king shit, with the biggest Discord anyone's got. And I can't go on it because it's just like, it's just, it's just, it devolved into something. It evolved. All right. It didn't devolve. It evolved into something strange and I didn't like it. It, it, it was too meme and too too angry. And too anti Zia. It's like, hello, my name's in the fucking door. Could you not? And they couldn't not. And so they're gone. Anyway, I got a Discord hoodie, which has the logo there, which is very, very strange feeling. I like that. I think that's reflective too. Then of course it says Discord there. Little that that's a Discord icon I know. It's not attached. And it's just it's adhered to the back. Then I think the arm says Discord partner, because that's important as I rock this around. And then the back is the giant Discord logo thing, partner logo, with another little Discord. The only problem I can feel is on the inside of this. This is very stiff. Like, aren't they supposed to take it off of this paper? Like, this paper doesn't need to be there, does it? Anyway, I have a Discord thing. So I'm gonna put this down. And we're gonna go back to doing our catawampusy things. In fact, I might try to get into the habit to, of shutting this off after every box gets opened. And this way I can just, everything will just be short clips and I can combine them all. Might be better that way. Hold 